Time to move! <laughs> Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. Oh, it's uh, again in on the peeps. is what's left of Fjordalund. Sebrin spoke before enough of these people before she joined the Valkyries. That's frost in my neck, stop. And they did. Oh, my word. Hmm. I mean, I realize what happened. Come <laughs> on. 
him Behind him you. Give him a hand. told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mamir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. So what happened to my other hat? There we go. This is good. Those runes over there can shed some light. What? No, she never mentioned. Is that a key? What lock that key belongs to? No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. Another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come on. You Is really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Oh, well. Suppose I did. But give me a mission. <gasps> mm. 
The wolves have picked up another trail. <laughs> Keep following their heads. <laughs> so to be clear, finding the norms is not about altering events, yeah? I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Probably in a day, in a season that, that will open it. Um. Freya, can we return to your story of Finthur? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. And that first emergency. No more for now. Focus. watch. We need to work our way up. This way. Way through the ice? Oh, oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> That? That's good. I need one more to, to open the chest right here. Right there. Yeah, one there. See any more? So I need an end. That's it, right? Right there, look. I think I find it. Right in front of me. Friends. I didn't tell them to be with you. I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. I didn't see the sooner you find your chest, son, yo. the sooner you'll be I able to. I did. I, I, did. I just hope it works. Just the same. Oh my Thank word! You. A fine sentiment. <laughs> 
But write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Well, I think I can go in here, but I need... I need to, um... Najee MG, what's up? What's up, Najee? Welcome to the stream, boy. Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. Let me see that chest here. I gotta get that chest. Man. Really? Need that chest? Oh, nice, a shield. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I already went to right here. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Everyone hearing that creepy whisper. It is like an itch in <laughs> the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. 
There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Can I pick up that? So why can't I pick up that? Chess, more chess. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. That fight was interesting. A little easy though, ain't gonna lie. He was guarding that way outside. Familiar, but different. 
like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Freya of the Bend. Master of Magic. Queen of the Valkyries. Witch of the Woods. Frigg of Asgard. Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. She always finds somebody to hold. She cannot trash. Know it all, and I cannot change. See, you forgot, smartest man alive. Is it? Nick, you are gone. Hello? Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. Okay. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. <laughs> They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Charge! 
The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. One push. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. sound again. Normally I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you? Babbling. Oh, 
That was official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! I am so sick of your constant meddling! What you did to me! What you did to me! Hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Just lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave my death until you turned! Oh, I know, Sigrun. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Skyrim? To grow up? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the powerful man who knew! Mother, watch out! There's more of us! Easy now! You see a violent god in need, and you can't help but aid him and call him brother. It's who you've always been. It's who you are. And it's who you are. It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the team, it's pulling me in. Come here. Father, help me! Monster! Atreus, I am coming! Why didn't you trust me? Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why must you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want him to that! He's a murderer! That's all I have to do. And now, he's mine. He's killing our family! It's well. I am here! Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Get 
talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespect. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. Mm -hmm. Are you but you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless shut death, up. and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? Mm -mm. He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. Cheer them. Oh, it's a he stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> I'm not say Kratos is gonna die, man. Wow. Oh, no. That was educational. <laughs> he probably he died a couple of times already. So. <laughs> From me. Dwarfs. Ooh. 
Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is, how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Kill everybody. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. Where is he? Sure now? Up there. That's the wrong way up if you want to get out of here. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother.
always a joy to work on these. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. Man, it is actually even better. Anything for Freya? Freya Minana. Something in mind? What can I make for you? Ooh. This you know. This is a scheme of four. Uh, yeah, I'll disinfect my tools. I'll heat up the forge. Talk about now. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future more like. He reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Sir, could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a sac. You'll find the spec. You, you mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the. We but are. Putting off. all that aside for the moment. Is there anything else? Uh, check, yeah, check. You're back. 
They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? <laughs> and I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but go fetch Dropnir. So, Guano? Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly yeah, thought you understood that. Yeah. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I'm gonna miss you, little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Mm. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us. I know you mean well with that. But to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence <laughs> and the folly. See you out there. Ah. Time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. 
I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna let you. What the? <sighs> no, you pimping shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? No, oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of the words. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. I think when they finish that. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there, blind. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. An abandoned service tunnel. Oh! <laughs> 
Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Rock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. His fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. There's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture.
Alright, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You too. This thing has a very Kind of tricky. something with this
don't know what I'm supposed to do over here. And then we can jump over this. Can I move this? Twilight Sword, we can use that. Yeah, yeah, you fix it. Sigil arrows won't work on this. But I'm not in a party, no, but I'm just I run it by myself. Do I think the player? I Bloody hearty are sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Okay, 
Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? We can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. Tears' job, not mine. It's plain to see Tears no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods, you haven't. That or else, what are we doing Christian. in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting. I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can be. Digital arrows won't work on this. Where have they got the third one hidden away? Probably up top, right? Cookies. Anything wrong yes. with a disparity in size or number of limbs? You say. Oh, you're going to world. make some cookies. Yeah. Nice. Good. 
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. Found it. One of four. Right, let's get that wheel turning. Let me know if I can help you. Hmm. Just out of place. Try a sigil arrow on the upper trough. Should help it stay frozen. Start. Ah, team one. And it's the up. Oh.
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought <laughs> so. It is close. I can feel it. I need some fresh air after that. But ink. Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something. <laughs> Whoever 
When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Pokey! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> Time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> Say good morning! used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. <laughs> Don't quit your nattering. Snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs are made of here. We gotta figure our way up there and kill them all. Like that wheel up there opens the gate. No reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up there. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Bro than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can just this plane, Captain Guy. You just give me this.
got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. <laughs> ah, promising. Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Get so come on through and get those cables. to the ford. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. <clears throat> Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. Yeah. No! Don't stop. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of a thing. <laughs> Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> hey, Bunker! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, <Butcher. laughs> So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noka. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunion. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. He's Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? <laughs> Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. <laughs> Follow me. Peace. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. The 
this lady. What does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled off. But time goes by and there's less to prove. I'm gonna use a axe to chop. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. And it's still like shot. When you finally get to show the lady who you are. Crazy. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, <laughs> you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. Mm -hmm. We're good. Crank it. I know what the people. Where is the forge? Here she come. I um. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh... She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
Peter, you're almost forgotten. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for your service. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? <laughs> she acts like I weren't even here. <laughs> Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you <laughs> might be missing. It's a mermaid or a Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want it needs a blessing yeah well the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb it needs the blessing of a great blacksmith what no no i can't bless shit i don't have all my soul bits it, the blessing wouldn't mean squat it is the nature of a thing that matters no, it's crazy. Nila, you need, you need to play the God of War. I'm not lying. <laughs> All right. Yeah. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! Left Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, 
Never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up there. <laughs>
Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Till my balls are taken over this ground, we better beat them out. You're gonna look dandy as a red blotch on this here hammer. <laughs> Lesson? Take note of that there, watch him a hoot. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. <laughs> See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you need. Great! You got him! Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right, uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps mamia oh very well <laughs> these ugly bugs maybe those gram will take him down <laughs> Come on, I'm waiting. 
of heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop. I see a shorter path. Aye. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. And I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find. Two auspicious a day to end your work that morning. <laughs> oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone now a good time I just want to talk dad to dad speaking of which imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door <laughs> he's doing well by the way and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard Happy. Sometime so soon. So hot? Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Well, he's good, man. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Look at this. I can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war. Look at you, Kratos. All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. <laughs> I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. He only has a hand. Oh no! Look at that. That boy of ours. Oh wow! Is everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now, 
is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? What? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Behind you, Kratos. Drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We <laughs> just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. You crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along.
I don't think that's the right tool for the job. <laughs> Oh, 
Este. <laughs> so this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion. 